Hi everybody, Paul McFarland here again with the Shia Day Binder. Well, no, we've moved beyond the binder. We are now going into what I call the Rizzoli book. Shia Day, the first 20 years. Solid. And get it right off the bat, I do have two of these. This one, which has the slip cover on it, is just that. It's just for daily handling. The other one, which is signed, as you may have seen in a previous one, by Jay Shia to me and Lee cloud to me is not handled as often just because it's a holy relic so <clears throat> when this came out uh kind of maybe i assume because of the uh 20 year anniversary obviously and there was some significance to kind of stop and take notice I remember when it came out, I thought, oh, how interesting. It stopped where it did because, you know, the time it takes to publish a book, there was other campaigns they were doing. But I thought, how cool. And when I heard about this, I found a copy ASAP. Now, <clears throat> first of all, the fact that, you know, they just say, look, this worked, you know, this worked, is very ballsy. I love the fact of, they did that in the video, but, for the 20th anniversary with the, you can see it on YouTube I like that very much and um, it's interesting uh, written by Stephen Kessler uh, it's interesting it's right there so you know who wrote it and designed by Jill Savini and uh, <laughs> for my mom who yelled when I took a copywriting job for $175 a week. And for my partners, Ralph, Marv, Frank, Mark, and especially for Harry. Special thanks to all the names in there, you know. And Jay's thing says, this book is about aggravation, frustration, triumphs, heartbreak, exhilaration, joys, tears, love, and a carload of passion. You know, a typical day at the agency. Isn't that true? But most of all, it's about trying. Trying to make the advertising better, more provocative, friendlier, more motivating, exciting, and most important, more effective. It takes an incredibly special group of agency people and clients to keep trying to do all of that. And I was lucky enough to be able to work with them. God, has it really been 20 years? Jay Shine. It was very interesting to me that Jay on the other copy didn't sign this page. That would have been interesting. But he signed the beginning because he wanted to be up front. That says so much. Every single word there, exactly how I feel. Now the preface is good. And the main thing that I really respect about what Stephen did, whether he just decided on his own or he consulted and got approval, I don't care. It's so kick-ass. The idea that the stories in this book, with the exception of Jay and Guy, no names are mentioned for a very good reason, not even Lee's. Because if you know who the story is about, then it doesn't matter. And if you don't know who the story is about, it doesn't matter. That is so fucking cool. So, Stephen, salute. An opening before everything else with that. Good enough is not enough. And you know, Tell me another agency anywhere in history that had an ethos. But those five words, it's clearer, more powerful, and motivating and intimidating than those. Tell me one. And speaking of five words, it was also five words that began Nike and that runs through everything Nike has ever been. There is no finish line. Of course, I talked about that in the Shiate Binder video about Nike. Those five words. I'll try to make these a little bit shorter just because why not. But this is the intro of the book. And what's really nice is the stories and the way Stephen wrote this. He did a lot of interviewing and it's really, really great. 1968, the year of the merger, Faust Day and Shai joined forces. You see, this is romance. This is like telling a romantic story because I think some people in this book would agree with me. What Jay was talking about in the intro is about love, really loving what you do, not really trying to do something else and this is your day job, this is your love. 
And the first work they show in here was Equitable Savings in the late 60s, because psychedelia and everything else. Animation, cell animation was the new thing. And at that time, most banks were so conservative and they were essentially doing print ads on television or spokesperson, very, very straight. And the fact that there was playfulness and fun and animation, that was kind of a youthful energy for a savings uh, loan company. It's quite breakthrough. Only thing is this wasn't national, it was regional, you know, greater LA especially, equitable savings. Like even announcers, when you open an account at Equitable for a thousand dollars or more, we'll give you a free safe deposit box. And we do mean safe. Well, because animation is just showing, a, you know, do -do 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 -do, putting it really, really out of reach. Yeah. You know, they even started with, you know, send in this box top and we'll and rent a real one free, you know? So back in the day when those like coupons and things you sent in actual mail, talk about direct response. And these ads were really the beginning of a lot of the way they were doing work. In fact, it's interesting. This font they were using near send in this box stop. What is this? This is Times Roman Bold. And then someone, I don't know who first discovered Times Neo Black that Aldous typesetters had. And they said, yeah, that's our look. It was a little bolder still. It's cool. And what's so neat about this book, you're really understanding how a well-known ad agency started with a certain rebel energy, a challenger industry, but self-belief, believing in yourself that you can become what you want to become. It's amazing. So anyway, that's our intro. I'm not gonna go any farther today. Every day I'll take you through a couple of the client campaigns in here, the ones especially that I have not covered before, because the point is you, you, whoever you are right now doing digital design, digital content writing. Learn from this. Learn what excellence is. Learn what doing something for your audience that's amazing and shocking and wonderful and challenging and tantalizing and showing care in the craft. That subconscious but very viable, visceral sort of feeling. Noticing craft. And craft means passion. Craft and passion means caring. And caring means love. See you tomorrow.